Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the ball age is hot, you would show well here. About to give you a very special Steam Deck video, and I want to show you guys my Steam Deck library. So here you guys can see that I have a nice little collection here on the actual Steam Deck itself. A couple games that I have, some of them are bigger than others. These are the games I'm obviously going to be working on either with Vince or myself over the next few months, and this is why it's on the Steam Deck. Now on the micro SD card, I have a nice little collection of games as well. Monster Hunter World, Doom Eternal, all the Final Fantasy games, except for... 13 is on the Windows installation. We got Cyberpunk 2077, Back for Blood, Kingdoms of Amalur, Fallout 2, 3, 4, New Vegas, Dragon Quest 11, Path of Exile, The South Park Games, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Dragon's Dogma, Scarlet Nexus, Skyrim, Borderlands 2, Titan Quest Anniversary Edition, and I don't have a whole lot of room for stuff because you have to have shaders and whatnot. The micro SD card is pretty full. We have a lot of DLC on the Steam Deck, and I'm sure we have to delete a couple games off of here because there's a that much room on here. Now when we go over to the desktop side of things, we're going to go into Windows. So we're going to shut this down and we're going to go into the Windows side momentarily. Alright, we're going to boot right into Windows and I'm going to show you guys the amount of storage I have on my Steam Deck in Windows. Now I do have multiple USB devices hooked up into my Steam Deck. I have a 256 gig USB-C SanDisk flash drive that also doubles as USB-A and some other devices. So we're gonna go and open up a folder here. Here you can see we have 1.35 terabytes free on the Steam Deck. And here's my flash drive that I use. So the flash drive that I actually use in my Steam Deck is this SanDisk one here. You can see that it's got USB-A, but it also has USB-C which is friendly with a lot of smartphones, Samsung tablets, iPads with USB-C, or even Steam Decks and Nintendo Switches. I don't think this actually works with the Nintendo Switch, but this does work on the Steam Deck. And there is a format that you can actually use it on both Windows and Steam OS. So I'm gonna open up Steam and Battle.net, and I'm gonna show you guys what I have installed. All right, so Battle.net loaded first. You can't see it because my camera's blocking it, but I have Diablo 3, Diablo 2 with full controller support, and Diablo Immortal with with partial controller support up and ready. Now as far as actual games that I have on the Steam Deck, I'm gonna go pull up the Steam Deck side of things. Also Final Fantasy 14 and Genshin Impact are installed. First game that is installed is Dragon Ball Fighter Z because this game has anti-cheat on Steam OS. You cannot play that game. Also to save space, I put all three Batman games right on the Steam Deck. Another game that I have installed is Street Fighter Cross Tekken because it's games for Windows Live as is the Mortal Kombat collection. You cannot play these games on Steam OS because games for Windows Live is not compatible with it. A couple other games that I have installed on the actual Windows side of Steam OS are the following games. I did install Lost Ark. I probably don't plan on playing it again, but I just want to show you guys that I could. Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. By the way, VTech 8, also known as VTech 7, also known as Jag, is one of my best friends. He makes content for PSO2. Hopefully I can get him to actually do YouTube videos and streams in the very near future. Also installed on here is Destiny. 2 right on the Steam Deck. So those games are installed. I still have to put in the Epic Launcher and also some other things. Rest in Peace Stadia. Honestly, you will not be missed because I never used it. But one of the reasons I allocated so much space for Windows is if I ever get back into Xbox Game Pass Ultimate or Xbox Game Pass on PC, because you can physically download games on the Windows side of the Steam Deck. Now some of you guys might be asking, if I have a handheld device, why do I have Windows on it? There's some games that are just more convenient to run in Windows. My buddy Michael Lindsay plays Destiny 2 like crazy. I want to get back into that eventually at some point because we do kind of work the same shifts. He usually can't get on to about 7 o'clock and we can get more than like one to two hour sessions in. I would love that because honestly 7 o'clock really doesn't work for me. But I wanted to show you guys an update to my Steam Deck. Obviously I have a SD card full of emulators. I have another SD card full of fighters and the SD card that I currently have in my Steam Deck has all the games that are listed. I'm gonna pull them up one more time so you guys can see exactly what is on the Steam Deck. Now my favorite two accessories to actually use with the Steam Deck are the Razer Deathstalker V2 10 keyless because I can shove it right into a backpack. I also have the Razer Naga Pro with customizable side plates that works both wirelessly and Bluetooth. Both of these devices do not actually have to be hooked up to a dongle. Both of these can just run on their own. And both of these can also run with one USB port and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. 
So this is an Anchor multi-USB hub that you can get from Amazon. The SD card ports do not work unless you use it in Windows. You cannot use it in Linux for whatever reason. You got power delivery. You also have USB-C port. You can use to charge your phone. You have two USB-A ports. And you can also connect this Razer Deathstalker V2 10 keyless via USB-C. And it also has three profiles, perfect for all your customization needs. All right, so on my fighting game SD card, I have 31 games on it all together. Mortal Kombat 11, Marvel's Avengers, Tekken 7, Dead or Alive 6, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, WWE 2K22, which is also on the Windows installation. I'm still really curious if I can actually put custom music in Linux. If I can, this is going to be a great addition to the WWE SteamOS platform. If I can get custom music on SteamOS, that would be great. That's something I'm going to mess around with in the future, and I'll update you guys on that if it's possible. Street Fighter V, Injustice 2, Mortal Kombat X, Killer Instinct, King of Fighters 15, Guilty Gear Strive, DC Universe Online, which is kind of an MMORPG brawler type game, but I put it on here anyways. Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition, Soul Calibur 6, Blaze Blue Central Fiction, The King of Fighters 14 Steam Edition, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Skullgirl 2nd Encore, Mortal Kombat 9, the Complete Edition, unfortunately it doesn't have Kratos, you have to get the PS3 version for that, which is why the PS3 version is still relevant. Multiverses, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, Streets of Rage 4, Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, which Vince kicked my ass in, King of Fighters 13 Steam Edition, Dragon Mark for Death, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge, The Capcom Beat Em Up Bundle, River City Ransom Underground, Double Dragon Trilogy, only 121 megs, not too bad. Now we're going to show you guys the emulation side of things on my Steam Deck. Now just a little disclaimer to everybody, I am nowhere near done with emulation on the Steam Deck, as I only have about 276 titles, I'm still missing regular Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Atari, MAME, WrestleFest, I'm looking at you, I'm missing Sega Saturn, I'm missing Sega CD, Game Gear, I'm missing a lot of things, I don't have the DS, 3DS, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Game Boy Advance, you name it. But as far as the emulation goes, this is what I currently have on my Steam Deck. You saw one game there. I have a little bit of a library for Nintendo 64 games, and that's where I spent a lot of time. And obviously all these backgrounds probably got to get reset again from the last time I did it. We also have a couple GameCube games. I have nine all together. Again, I still have more than I need to do, but we're getting there. Super Nintendo, I think, is where I got the most games, but I haven't actually gone through and tested if every single game works. And you can see some artwork missing on some of them. This is something I also want to make sure to test and one thing i want to make specifically clear when i do emulation it cannot be on steam so if i don't own the game on steam it is not getting emulated it has to be games that i don't own on the actual steam platform and yes even nintendo switch works monster hunter rise unfortunately is kind of a dud but diablo eternal collection you could play offline non-seasonal you can play fire emblem three houses you can even play the team Ninja turtles kawabunga collection the wii side of things i got smash brothers brawl metroid trilogy again i haven't gotten through all the games Games because when you're downloading off Vim's layer, it's very slow. PlayStation, I did get some time in. Obviously, I have to redo the backgrounds of some of these because they got messed up. And I wish I would have saved copies before I formatted my Steam Deck. PlayStation 2, I have a nice little mix. Again, I haven't fully gotten through all the games. This is actually the Regio SmackDown vs. Raw. Then we got Shut Your Mouth, Here Comes the Pain. Still not done with their PlayStation 3, I think I spent a lot of time on. I even got two of my favorite games, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3. I feel that shooters have gone downhill. This guy at 3 is only on PlayStation, so it makes sense that I get it on there. Demon Souls is also a PlayStation. PlayStation exclusive, which I own both on PlayStation 3 and 5, which is why I have a copy of it on here. But a lot of these games were really good. I also put in Justice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition on here. The reason why is because the Steam Deck version is not that great optimized or resolution. So this way we can get a clean experience of it. Killzone 3, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 and 2. I really want to change this background. The NBA Jam that was like 2008. The Simpsons game. I want to find the Simpsons arcade game. That would be great. Virtual Fighter 5, WWE 2K14, WWE All stars ufc 2009 and psp the artwork is just botched completely but all the games work i tested the eight games that i own that's where we're at in the steam emulation and now i'm going to show you guys what's actually on my steam deck currently as far as main games go now as far as games I actually have on the Steam Deck, you can see I have 223 games on Steam altogether. Back for Blood, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, the Batman series, which are all installed on Windows. Got Blaze Blue, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, Borderlands 2 and 3, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, Borderlands Pre-Sequel. These two I don't have installed yet. Need to work on that. 
The Capcom Beat 'em Up Bundle, the Castlevania Collection, Chrono Trigger, Contra Evolution. Got Cyberpunk 2077, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, Darkest Dungeon, Day Z, DC Universe Online, Dead Island, the Definitive Edition. Need to get this off my library. Dead or Alive 6, Dead Rising 4. Thank you, Brandon Altimore, for that. Destiny 2, Divinity 2, Divine Divinity, Disgaea PC 2, 4, and 5. That's why we have an emulator for 3, and I physically own the game on PS3, so don't give me that crap. Divinity Original Sin, Doom, all the Dooms, Dota 2, Double Dragon Trilogy, all the Dragon Age games, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Dragon Mark for Death, Dragon Quest 11, Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen, Duke Nukem Forever, Dungeon Defenders, all three games, got Dungeon Lords, all three Dungeon Siege games, I wish they'd make a fourth one, got Dying Light, still need Dying Light 2, Elden Ring, Elder Scrolls, all seven games, Fallout 2, 3, 4, 1, 76, New Vegas, Tactics, all of the Final Fantasies, except for 13, 11, and 14 are installed on the Steam Deck. Also got Fire Pro Wrestling World, For Honor, Grim Dawn, Guilty Gear Strive, Heretic, Hexen, some classics in my childhood in the 90s. Got Idol Champion of the Forgotten Realm, Injustice 1 and 2, Killer Instinct, Killing Floor, King of Fighters 13, 14, 15, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, Last Epoch, which I'll probably put on Windows, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, Legend of Grimrock, Legend Heroes Trails in the Sky, Final Fantasy 13, Lost Ark, Mafia, which everybody got for free recently, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Marvel's Avengers, Mass Effect, Andromeda, Mass Effect Trilogy, Mega Man 11 plus both Legacy Collections, I love me some Mega Man, Shadow of Mortar, Shadow of War I bought recently on the WB sale, Heroes of Might and Magic 7, Monster Hunter Rise, Monster Hunter Stories, Monster Hunter World, Mortal Kombat Arcade Collection is installed on Windows, Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat X, Multiverses, NBA Playgrounds 2, NBA 2K18, Neverwinter Dragon Slayer, Octopath Traveler, Path of Exile, PSO2 New Genesis, which is installed on Windows, Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire Plants for Zombies, Puzzle Quest 2 and 3, because I love me some good puzzle games. I got all the Quake games, Retro Mania Wrestling, River City Ransom Underground, Rocket League, Sacred Gold, Scarlet Nexus, Genesis Collection, Civilization 6, got Skullgirl Second Encore, Soul Calibur 6, both South Park games. Can't wait for them to make another one soon. A couple Star Wars games. Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Streets of Rage 4. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. Tekken 7. Which works perfectly fine once you take the USB-C to HDMI cable out and put it back in. Because I tested this at work like a month ago. Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I don't know why it says uncompatible when I've run it just fine. Titan Quest Anniversary Edition. Titanfall 2 was like $5 for the Ultimate Edition a few weeks ago. Torchlight like 1, 2, and 3, Triangle Strategy, I pre-purchase, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Ultra Street Fighter 4, Various Daylife, which I might check out while Triangle Strategy is on the horizon, Warframe, Witcher 1, 2, and 3, Wizardry 6, 7, and 8, 5 Ordeals, Labyrinth of Lost Souls, Wiz Rogue, World of Final Fantasy, all of the WWE games. Fun fact, 2K17 I did not have in my library. They took all the WWE games out of here in August of this year, so I had to go buy from a third-party website, WWE 2K17. And I have five wise games all together. I want to get all of them eventually. So this is what I've been doing with my Steam Deck. This is my two-month review on the Steam Deck and everything that I've done on it. I've probably done more tinkering with emulation than I've actually spent playing games. But that's going to change as of next week. So you might see me actually doing some Let's Play series on some various games. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, everybody. And let me know what else you want me to put on the Steam Deck that you guys might like. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!